Hello, I'm back. We've taken so damn long that Razor Scale has gone berserk <clears throat> and the damage she's doing has been increased by like a million bajillion percent. So, awesome. Let's see if I can get this done. I probably can't. But that won't stop me from trying because I am an honorable man. Oh my. Well, she should be calmed down while we're down there, but we have, we see we've got 18 out of 25 gone. I don't think we have enough Guardians here to kill this round. So, got to survive at least one more round. We're probably not going to get any kills here. It looks like it's all going horribly wrong. Horribly, horribly wrong. Horribly, horribly, horribly. Okay, she's taking that breath. Right, that's 21 out of 25. Oh shit. That was some good thinking on my part, I dare say. Let's see if I can keep everyone healed up. I'm suggesting no as being the most likely answer. At least this has made everything a little interesting. Come on, Karu here, you fool. Don't you die. Don't any of you die. Right, time for ultimate power. This is what ultimate power was made for. Come on, you slags. Live! Live! There we go. Well, my mana bar is certainly going to start falling down we, now. We just need four more. Ho ho ho! That was a close one. Owie, owie, ow! Come on. I'm gonna live. Okay, she's grounded. We have not four guardians. We've got like two. So... I have to survive even more. Can my mana bar do it? I'm... I don't know. Let's see. Is there any way I can regenerate my mana at the minute? Oh, sure can. I want to have a good old rest. Allow me that. Okay, are we going to get 23 out of 25 here? Yes, we are. Oh, fuck. Aye! Come on! Come on! Come on! Shit! It's all going terribly, terribly wrong. Oh my! Yes, that's a good idea. You use your happy, happy, joy, joy spell. Lol, 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 Stop hurting me, bro. Come on. This will be the most climactic thing ever if we manage to do this. How are you doing that twice in one go? Stupid OP druids. I mean, in one general space of time. Druids are OP. Right, come on. Uh, oh shit. I need to get get back. Close. Come, I'm come closer. Quickly, she okay, she's grounded again, guys. This is literally the moment of truth. Can we do it? Can we actually do it? And then following on from that, will we actually be able to beat the boss afterwards? Probably not, but as long as we get the achievement, right? Get them lower, breath doesn't kill them instantly. Oh my god, you guys! Oh, for fuck's sake! Sweet Jesus! You bastards! Yeah. 
Yes! Oh god, yes. I can't believe it. I'm so happy. Right. Now let's see if we can pull off the impossible and beat this boss. Come on. Where are you, Davros? Oh my god! Yeah! Sweet Jesus. This is ridiculous. Can we just wipe now? Oh, fine. Fine. The bastard does. Whoops. Well, at least you saw that achievement finally happen. I will cut recording at the exact moment of my untimely death. Timely death. At the exact moment of my untimely death is when I'll cut recording and start this boss properly. Okay, I'm back and it's time for a legitimate kill of this creature with no crazy achievement madness going on. Just a nice, quick, lovely kill of doom. That will be fun for all the family. So we will heal these people's ups. We will heal these people's ups. This part obviously will be the same as before. Now very, very, very tame that he's no longer berserk. But once he comes down to the ground we will pound that dragon into oblivion and that is when happy times will occur. I am being attacked apparently. Oh no! Harpoon turret is ready for use. I will do it. Oh yeah. Where is it? Right in his belly. I have impeccable aim. Selfish chamois. Ooh. I wonder what the chamois did. Clearly something horrific. Oh yeah. How was that for skills? Move quickly. She won't remain grounded for long. Okay, time to kick some face. Wow, that funky music does its funky music thing. Shit, come on! Ah! The big giant dragon. How could I fail to click on that four times? What is wrong with me? Come on now. Razor Scale is grounded permanently. That's the stuff. And now that she's grounded permanently, she's going to start stacking a, a fire damage dot, I do believe. That will get progressively worse and worse on the tank. Yeah, there it goes. So we're going to have to kill her quickly, which for over-leveled 85 fellas such as ourselves will be no problem whatsoever. My prayer of healing seems to be only healing one target. Sort of ruins the point of it. But there we go. Lovely. Got that achievement too. Huzzah, huzzah. And now that's not for me, and that is not for me. The next boss, XT002 Deconstructor, is a robot with the mental age of a four year old. His hard mode is pretty simple. We just um, break his heart. So quite literally, at some point during the fight, he'll say that he's tired and wants to rest for a moment, in which case his heart will fall out of his chest for no reason. And once that happens, we just break that damn thing, and he will be healed to full, have more health than he already did, and do more damage than he already did, but... Shut up. But, um... Well, I passed so fucking. We'll just kill these small pockets of trash. So, as for this guy, what he does, if I recall correctly, 
Uh, he has a tantrum that used to kill you, but now it doesn't. Um, it used to do 10% of your health for 12 seconds. Now it does 10% of your health for 8 seconds, which is no big thing. Um, he launches light bombs, which you have to get away from. And he launches gravity bombs, which you have to get away from. But if you're close to the gravity bomb, it'll pull you in. So it's like a light bomb with added annoying. And he'll summon adds that just need to be dealt with at some point. And that's really all there is to it. As you can see, he's having his tantrum there. I don't know why that's not hurting us now, but it will hurt us once we're fighting him. But isn't he just a cool looking machine? A unique model not taken from everything, anything, modelled entirely for this boss, boss fight. I don't think I've ever seen this model used again either, but it's just such a cool thing. Lore wise, he was, I think, created by Mimiron. Um, and he's, he was created by Mimiron about four years ago, and that's why he has the mental age of a four year old for some reason. For some reason he wasn't given an adult brain or anything like that, he was given a brain that actually develops along with his proper age, which is odd, but there you go. It's just for comedy value. Try not to think too hard about it. He's doing his old stretch exercises there, getting ready for the fight, as, as one needs to. Because if you don't stretch properly before a fight, you will probably lose. And he knows this. And hopefully, this son of a bitch will get in there eventually. B-L-O-P part. I think that means use bloodlust on his heart. Could be wrong there. Incidentally, XT002 Deconstructor is known as being the gatekeeper for Ulduar, but I put it to you that the gate was probably somewhere well over there, and this is in fact the front door. So he is really just the doorman. Not the gatekeeper, but I guess doorman doesn't sound as cool in a fantasy setting. Black left, white right, that's just uh, that's the light bomb plus gravity bomb thing there. He's saying that if he launches the gravity bomb, we run to the left. And if he launches the light bomb, we go to the right. And um, other than that... He does some rather good damage, the old kid. Not bad at all. Searing light. Whoops. I appear to have been hitten. Hitten. I appear to have been hit by a light bomb, but didn't pay any mind to it. Because I'm a nubby nub nub three men in a tub. Um, stand here, all. Okay, this is uh, the thing that's entirely based on... What's it based on? Percentages. So let me just heal everyone up. Now his heart is going to hang out, though Davies had him facing the wall because he's a knob sock. But there's his heart. Let's hope everyone can find it within themselves to DPS that thing down. While I do my thing. Looks like they're doing quite well. Excellent. Oh, he is. He is. So as you can see, he has about 50% more health than he did previously. And he's going to do more damage as well. Though, that's not going to mean anything to me really. Because other than the tantrum that does percentage-based damage, everything else is still going to be negligible. Negligible. So that's the gravity bomb in effect there. Okay. It's all cool. No one's gonna die. <laughs> I thought he was about to defy me then for a second and die, but he did not, which is fine. Whoops! But he is. It's okay. I'll sort everything out. I'm the man. I'll get it done. There we go. 
probably going to need to go for a few more drastic measures than this, because it doesn't look like I'm going to heal everyone in time with just um, prayer of healing. Hmm. Looks like someone has... Well, we've all failed the achievement now because, because of that. I'll let you guys read that. I currently can't read that because I'm too busy pressing Q. For some reason, this requires a lot of my concentration. Oh, he's recovered some health. What? Someone's a noob. Alright, this could get a bit dangerous. Phew, it's kind of embarrassing. We have just died. It will be recorded for all to see. How shameful. Well guys, I'm gonna... I'm gonna cut recording there. I'm gonna see you again in... In just a second. Okay, I think we're ready to begin our third time, though if you're lucky you won't have seen the second. Because I wouldn't talk to you with repeated failure. Who would want to watch that? Nobody! So here he is, the Deconstructor, the only thing that stands between us and the really gorgeous parts of Ulduar. So, he's got a gravity bomb. His answer to that is to stand as close to someone else as humanly possible. Excellent. She's got a light bomb. She's going to get out of the way like a good person. This boy be taking so much damage. Okay. So now... He's going to do his tympanic tantrum. He's going to... Oh! Oh, you slutbag. I was in the middle of channeling a very rare and expensive spell. Grr. Let's get everyone healed up. Heal them up for the big day. The big Christmas dance is coming. So his heart, as you can see, is going down. But you saw all this in the first attempt. <sighs> okay, now hurt him, guys. Hurt him. No, kill these first. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Good. Now hurt him. Cause him pain. Why is his health so high? I want to see some serious pain going on here. Okay, he's going to cause a tympanic tantrum. Oh my god. Heal everyone. I don't care about how mana cost efficient this is. It's probably not at all. There we go. Shadow Fiend, you go do your thing. Get Daddy some nice mana back. And now, let us make sure everyone is okay for the next tantrum. That damned tantrum. Hey! Was that my fault? I must confess, I'm not paying any attention to anything. I don't know. Okay. There we go. Let's see if I can score in a bit more mana before his next tantrum. No, not really. As long as I get one flash heal off on everyone. Damn it, Suliana. Alright, excellent. Thanks to the druid doing their super overpowered druid heal. That one went quite smoothly. Smooth as anything. Okay. Everything's going well. We might just do it this time. He has about 2.7 million health left. We can do it. I have enough mana to last us through another tantrum. It's all good. 
That's all good. I need to get close. Yes, I do. Okay. If you're gonna throw that tantrum, do it soon, because you're making me nervous. Come on now. There we go. Alright, ultimate power. There we go, everyone is fine. Everyone is fine. We're gonna win! And that is that. Victory, victory, victory. Thy name is Victory. Lovely. So that's him tragically dead. So we were informed that we needed to need on everything, which is fine by me. And now that he is down, the gate that he's been keeping, or rather the door that he's been manning, shall be open to us. And here is where shit gets amazing. Uh, pardon me. I would like to go to the antechamber of Ulduar because it kicks ass. Listen to dat music. So the assembly of iron is what we do first. Let me see what the achievements for those guys are. So I choose you, Mulgame. I choose you, Brundir. I choose you, Steelbreaker. Fair enough. That is just, um... You see the... Sorry, scratching the old ear. The Assembly of Iron is all about three... three dwarfs. Three dwarfs. You can kill them in whatever order you want. But what order you kill them in depends... Um... What order you... What order you kill them in determines what skills the other two will have. Durr! Honestly. Ouch. There we go. So we're just going to fight our way through a fair bit of trash, but it's cool trash in a damn cool looking room. Titans knew how to decorate. They just did. And this trash, back in the day, was good old proper trash that required CC and scary times when it came to healing. It was all very intense. Oh, that music. Do it now. This raid, my friends, let me tell you. I will just cast my heals, as I do. As far as the lore of this place goes, look at that! A Tauren constellation. Just what you always want to see. As far as the lore of this place goes, it is a... I think it's just... This whole gigantic place is just one big elaborate... Um, it's either a watchtower or a research station for Titans who were just camping out in Azeroth one day, wanted to see what's what. And then they uh, they left, and just left this amazing place in their wake, and have just ignored it for a good long time now. The last sinister things are afoot. We know that there is an old god currently living here, which is never a good thing. And there is also a herald of the Titans, Algalon the Observer, who has come here to judge whether or not we should live or die. Naturally, he picks the latter. 
This is a, a guy who's made of stone, but he is not himself a titan. Whoa, he's... He's a good jumper though, I'll give him that. And that's a tentacle cube of doom. Just what I always wanted. And I am feeling really, really tired. I don't know what it is. Whoops, he... Ow. Ouch. Many punches to the face. Not good times, my friends. It's all going to be fine. Ugh. Must wake up. Stupid me, only drinking one cup of coffee today. What was I thinking? I need to drink five. Okay, that's him down. I think we're going here first. That is where Alglon the Observer lives, but we cannot access him yet. You have to defeat ev well, not every hard mode in Ulduar, but a couple of hard modes in Ulduar in order to unlock him. I don't know if we'll even be able to unlock him this run. I can't remember whether or not Flame Leviathan is required. It might just be the Watchers, in which case... whoop de doo First Algalon. Don't you need to kill many hard modes to unlock him. And yes, I'm going to type that while you're dying. And make a million typos while I'm at it. Nope, not anymore. Well, good heavens. That is awesome. Fantastic. Looks like we are going to get to see Algalon this time then, and everything I've just said was completely irrelevant. Doesn't that just make you feel good? Ow! Sorry. Hit myself in the face again. By a mistake, of course. And this is the Assembly of Iron. We have Runemaster Mulgeam, Stormcaller Brundir, and Steelbreaker. Steel Breaker. Steelbreaker. And we're going to go at some point. They are probably discussing the tactics with each other in the flesh as they're all they're all lanning. I'm the odd one out from a different well, they're not really lanning, obviously, because they're online. It's a fake LAN. It's just them being in the same room playing WoW. Oh, so they're not discussing it, they were disturbing around being silent. Oh, fine. Shorkin has a plan. So we are killing... Nope. Okay. Lol, lol, lol. There is great disagreement here. Oh, now there is agreement here. Okay, lovely. So I do believe they need to be separated or something during the fight. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've done it. It's been a while since you I have done it. You cannot defeat the Assembly of Iron so easily, invaders! Now that voice you just heard, that is the voice of the Heavy from Team Fortress 2. What an illustrious career that man has, and I'm not even being sarcastic. Team Fortress 2 is amazing, and Heavy is by far one of the most awesome characters in it, with one of the most awesome voices in it. And now he gets to voice a super big-ass giant stone thing from World of Warcraft. Oh yeah. So what did we fail to do? Yeah. Oh god! I'm supposed to heal, aren't I? Shit. Supposed to heal. I'd better get doing that right now then. Healing, healing, I should be healing. There we go. Everything's going under control now. I can only assume that our inability to separate these people is what's causing the issue. But I should probably dispel that fusion punch when it comes, actually. So I'll keep an eye on that in future. Uh, that's fine. Oh, dispel it! Oh yeah. 
Who is the man? Not me, but someone like me. Alright, just get out of the rune of death, you fools. Shit, son. I'm just gonna, um... Fuck it, my, uh... My Shadow Fiend can eat Steelbreaker for a bit. It's not like it's going to kill him by mistake or anything ludicrous. Kill that Falcon Punch. Awesome. Alright, there's only one left. Awesome. I didn't even notice when Brundir went down. Did you good people who are viewing this video in the future see it? Oh, Heavy. You're so cool. And this music is even cooler. My god. I'm so in love with this raid. Eh. Come on now. I'll just use my lazy heal of awesome. Oh, now she's going to think I was talking about this rather than her achievement. Damn it. Okay, I need this. And that. 